to inject insulin we need to have a spirit swab the syringe to inject and the insulin vial and if you see the insulin vial it will be written either 40 or 100 IU and here we are using the 40 IU which will be prescribed by your doctor and uh, always make sure you uh, have that uh, 40 units open the uh, bottle and then roll the insulin bottle in your palm for about 10 times this will uh, make the insulin properly mix and also it will help to bring back the temperature to normal if you have kept the insulin inside the refrigerator and now take the syringe the syringe has got a red cap and a white cap for the piston and uh, the insulin syringe has got a red cap for uh, to make sure it is being sterilized and kept ser sterile and once it is open it is ready for use that means it is uh, uh, you have to throw after the use by closing the cap and now if you see on the syringe you can see markings which are uh, larger markings where we have 5, 10, 20 like that and we have smaller markings in between and uh, the markings are calculated or measured by the tip of a rubber black rubber bush which is there inside and uh, now we have the 16 mark, 17 mark, 18, 20 like that and uh, suppose we are going to inject 14 units we have to withdraw air first initially see I have kept it at uh, the 14 mark 10 plus 4, four uh, smaller markings now we are going to inject hold like a pen and inject air by piercing it straight through the center of the rubber which is there at the bottle and hold it there and inject the air entire air into the bottle now you hold the bottle upside down and slowly withdraw so when you when you withdraw you should be very slow because otherwise there can be chance of air entering into the uh, syringe so slowly see now i've got to uh, five six seven like that i've reached 10 and now 11 12 13 and 14 so now i am at the 14 mark and suppose at times if you withdraw faster there can be air now you don't bother you can what you can do is push back the entire insulin back into the bottle and then slowly withdraw so that there is no air so only thing is that you have to uh, withdraw it slowly so that uh, you are perfectly uh, only only the insulin is there inside now remove it and while pulling out pull it out straight you know otherwise there are chances of uh, the needle bending now again you hold it like the pen and I'm, I'm going to show it on a board you know instead of body and you have to clean the site with spirit and you hold the pen straight you know straight and inject and now you stabilize the syringe with your left hand so that when you inject the needle doesn't move now slowly inject okay while injecting also make it uh, slow so that uh, the insulin does not go into the body like a jet you know that you can that can cause pain or uh, swelling at the site or bleeding also at times and remove also straight straight now there can be small amount of bleeding there and if at all there is bleeding what you need to do is just keep your finger there for about few seconds so that will make uh, the bleeding stop and always remember you are not supposed to massage not supposed to massage so this is the way you uh, follow to inject insulin using a syringe hope this was uh, helpful for you always practice good insulin techniques thank you